Hey guys, today we will have a closer look at energy, another new module in the geodesics collection. Energy is a ring modulation oscillator and it has a few tricks up its sleeve. So let's start with a short overview of what we are dealing with. We have two sine waves, M and C, that are being multiplied. Their amplitude is being modulated at audio rate, but it's being done of course in a special way like always with the geodesics. And the results are quite interesting. So let's have a listen and look also on the scope and the analyzer. Um, I have here Taurus, um, just as a simple mult. Um, so let's send energy to Taurus. We can already see the two frequencies on the analyzer and also the wave shape on the scope. Now we can change the pitch of each oscillator with the respective knobs. And there are three routing modes to this. If we turn the pitch knob for oscillator M, we change the pitch of both oscillators together. You can see how they move together also on the analyzer. Now we can change this by clicking this button here. So if you click it once, now the M pitch knob will change the pitch of the oscillators uh, in different directions. You can see this quite clearly on the analyzer. And also look at the interesting waveform we get. Now in the third mode, each oscillator will move separately. And in all three modes, the pitch knob of oscillator C will always change the tuning of uh, the C oscillator. Now we have also three different tuning modes for each oscillator. We can move freely like we did now. But if we click the plank buttons once, now we can tune the oscillators in steps of semitones. Look at the interesting waveform we get. So much movement, so much motion. Now if we click the plank buttons once more, we can tune uh, the oscillators in steps of octaves and fifths. Very nice, and of course we can set each oscillator to a different tuning mode separately. So one can be semitones and the other octaves and fifths, or free even something like this. Now we can also introduce frequency modulation. Each oscillator will feed back into itself and this will add overtones and create a brighter sound. So we have for each oscillator a momentum knob. Again for each oscillator which will introduce um, FM. So let's look also on the analyzer. Look at all the um, overtones we are adding. Very nice. Now this is just the beginning. There are many more interesting and fun features. So let's start building a patch utilizing the different features of energy. Okay, so we will start like always with a nice sequence and we will use ions again, geodesics. This one here. Let's randomize it. And the only things that will be randomized are the step values and the probability amount and I want a 16 step sequence so let's make sure uh, that the probability is at 100% so the sequences will always switch at the first step and we get a 16 step sequence. Let's run ions with a multiplied clock. I have a clock multiplied by 4. Let's also quantize the signal so we will use the quantizer from Repelsense. Let's set a nice scale. So let's go with D, E, G, and B. We will send the blue sequence through the quantizer to energy. And let's already see how this sounds like. Oh yeah. 
Now we can change the tuning of each oscillator and get a nice timbre. So let's set again the plank mode to octaves and fifth. Oh yeah. Very nice. Now a really nice feature of energy is the multiply input, which is a sort of a VCA, but with a slight slew. So we can use also a sharp waveforms like the clock, for example. Oh yeah. We can change the pulse width of the clock to get different results. Oh yes, maybe something like this. Now we can also modulate the FM amount of both oscillators, the momentum. So let's use the LLFO from Bog Audio. Um, let's push the offset all the way up so we get a unipolar signal so the LFO will only output positive voltage. Let's use the sine wave and send it to the um, upper momentum to modulate the FM amount. Something like this. Very nice. Now instead of using a different LFO to modulate the other oscillator, we can activate the momentum cross mode, which means that negative voltage will modulate the second oscillator. So let's first change the LFO back to be bipolar, so it will output also negative voltage, and activate the cross mode. Positive voltage will modulate one oscillator, Negative voltage will modulate the other, you can see this here also, the movement. Positive, negative. So we have a nice sequence going on, let's duplicate this energy. And we will use this time the yellow sequence, again through the quantizer. And this time also we will use an envelope generator, an ADSR module, um, this one is from Bog Audio, to control the amplitude um, of this energy. Let's gate it with the same clock, set a nice snappy envelope, something like this maybe. And let's send this again to the multiply input, and let's see how this sounds like. We can also change the range of the yellow sequence, let's see how they will sound together, by changing the energy settings. Oh yeah! And this time we will use sample and hold to modulate the momentum or the FM amount of this energy, so let's use brains, again geodesics, we will trigger the upper brains with a multiplied clock. And let's send, let's send this one for example to modulate the momentum or the FM amount. Very nice. Now again, because the cross mode is active, negative voltage will modulate the second oscillator's FM amount. You can see the movement here. Okay, so we have a nice sequence, now let's add a moving drone, so we will use another energy, let's just mute this here, let's add another energy, very nice. Now energy has also individual pitch inputs for each oscillator, let's zoom in so you can see this, the mass and speed of light, and we have three modes to choose from. We have add, which is the default one, it will add the pitch information to what's set with the pitch knob. So here, this is the zero point, it will add um, positive or negative voltage. We have amp, which will start at zero and will go up to the position of the pitch knob. So again, this is zero, if I set a knob somewhere here, it will start at zero and will go all the way to the position of the knob, and we have also bypass, so the signal coming in the mass or speed of light inputs, which are the individual pitch inputs, is being bypassed and has no effect. So what we will do, we will sample both sequences 
after the quantizer with the lower brains, let's take this here and this one here. And we will use a much slower clock to trigger this brain saver clock divided by 13. And because we have a 16 step sequence, but the clock is divided by 13, we will get different notes. So let's send the sampled signals to both inputs of uh, the individual pitch inputs, the mass and the speed of light. Let's change the modes to add in both of them. So the pitch will be added to what's already there. And let's see how this will sound like. Oh, 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 oh. Change the modes here, maybe something like this. Oh, yes. Let's listen to everything together. Very nice. Now let's do something like this. We will use another LLFO to modulate the FM amount of this energy. So let's set something like this. And again, let's activate the cross mode. So negative voltage will modulate the other oscillator. We can also modulate the frequency of this LFO with the other LFO that we have here already. Oh yeah. Let's solo this again. Okay, now let's send this through Chronoblob 2 from all right devices. Oh yes, this is gonna be a nice drone. Uh, Chronoblob 2, so let's send something like this. Let's set this to ping pong, sync it with our clock. Change the delay times for each side. Maybe a bit less feedback and um, a bit less wet. Very nice. Let's send this to the mixer. Let's pan also the channels here, left and right. Oh yeah. And now what we will do, let's send this through, oh yes, oh yes, let's send this through a nice distortion. Um, let's use Overdrive from Blamsoft. Let's do something like this. Um, let's take the mix down for a let's the level the mix down for a second. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Once more. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, and what we will do now, we will send this first through two VCAs from VCV, and I'm using the ones from VCV because I can see visually what's going on. So let's send them first through the VCAs. Very nice. Now, what I will want to do eventually is add a kick and sidechain this drone to the kick. So let's use Tremor 2 from Vult, which is a beautiful module. Let's use the main clock to drive the kick, only the kick in this case. And I have here another mono mixer channel after the reverb for this kick. Oh yeah. And now Tremor has something interesting. It has an envelope output. Let's see this also on the scope. Let's listen to everything together already, just for fun. Oh yeah. It has an envelope output that will output the envelope of the kick. And we can use this for the side chaining. So what we will do, we have to invert this um, envelope. So it will go up gradually and then down when the kick is high. So what I will do, I will use the dual attenuverter from Befaco. And I will send this envelope first to the dual attenuverter. Let's look at it also on the scope. Now I will invert the envelope. Now it's inverted, but now I have to push it up so it will start from zero and will raise the volume of the drone. So I just have to push the offset up. And now we will use this to modulate the VCAs. Oh yeah. 
we have side chaining. Oh yes. Okay, let's add another energy. Let's add another voice, another energy. Let's use the upper brains to modulate its FM amount or the momentum. Again, activate the cross mode. Let's send it first, um, this energy through the external input of the noise section in Tremor. There is an external input, we can use external um, signals. Let's send this already to the mixer. Let's uh, change the source to external and use the multiplied clock to trigger this um, section. Let's turn the level all the way up. Solo this for a second. Let's take the decay a bit up. Oh yeah. Now we can change the pitch here. Oh yes. Now we can modulate the decay again with the upper brains. Oh yes. Let's change the filter to high pass. Take the resonance a bit up. Take the cutoff a bit down. And now we can also modulate Rescomb. I will take the pitch down so we have longer delay times. And let's modulate Rescomb also with brains. We can also modulate the panning of this voice. Oh yes, let's listen to everything together. Oh yeah! Very nice! So you can see and hear the vast amount of sonic possibilities hidden inside energy waiting to be found by experimentation so go experiment and have fun. Like always, there will be a link in the description to this patch. Feel free to download it and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.